Three days after pipping his older brother in the leadership election, Ed Miliband has made his first speech as leader of the Labour Party. Please welcome the leader of the Labour Party, Ed Miliband. With David looking on and doing a good job of putting on a brave face in front of the conference audience and TV cameras, Ed was quick to praise his beaten sibling. David, I want to say to you, I have always known what an extraordinary person you are. And now you've again shown to everyone else with the graciousness you have shown since Saturday and the extraordinary and inspiring speech you made yesterday, what an extraordinary person you are. Thank you. With the platitudes out of the way, Mr Miliband was quick to turn his attention on David Cameron and the coalition government. True patriotism is about reducing the debt burden we pass on to our kids. But Mr Cameron, true patriotism is also about building an economy and a society fit for our kids to live in. And whilst the 40-year-old sought to distance the party from its recent past, the leader paid his respects to New Labour. The most important lesson of New Labour is this. Every time we made progress, we did it by challenging the conventional wisdom. And with union leaders looking on somewhat unamused, Mr Miliband was happy to confront some of the criticism he has faced since being elected about moving the party to the left. We need to win the public to our cause. And what we must avoid at all costs is alienating them and adding to the book of historic union failures. And the Labour leader enjoyed a huge ovation from the party conference as he ended on a rousing note. Let the message go out. A new generation has taken charge of Labour. Optimistic about our country. Optimistic about our world. Optimistic about the power of politics. We are the optimists and together we will change Britain. Thank you very much.